Welcome back to another video everyone. For one of the first times in three years, I have done it a couple of times but never consistently, I have my own skin. Wait, how do you... How do you, uh... How do you face the camera? Oh wait, no, there we go, there we go. I have my own skin. Now, this I downloaded off of the Minecraft skin website by a user called Snow06 who made the skin two years ago. So I am two and a half years late, but I am using the skin. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be continuing the new update, basically. Like, uh, there's still a few things that I want to see. Basically, just looking for new things. Uh, there were a few things I actually missed out on in the last video, like the in the sand temples. I got the new loot in the sand temples. I can actually show some of it. I'll put it in my chest. I got some new armor trims, but apparently there's a new layer of loot, a new floor in the sand temples that I missed out on underneath the TNT. So that's new and I completely missed out on that in the ones that I visited. So on my adventures, looking for other new biomes and whatnot, um, if I find any sand temples, I'll be sure to not miss that. Look at that. I'm finally learning how to use controls in Minecraft. I've disabled the hood. I've got my uh, third person view on. Brooke is the one that wants to lead this uh, cherry blossom adventure. I personally don't really care too much about cherry blossoms, but apparently you can bring the seeds back and stuff. So that's what Brooke is interested in because uh, she has some ideas. Oh, you know what? We haven't found the other mob yet. The, what is it? The Skinner? No, not the Skinner. The Scanner. Sniffer! Sniffer, that's it. Well, I, I thought you would be interested in that mob particularly because you care about all the seeds and all that kind of building stuff. And the Sniffer could, you know, take you to rare stuff that you might care about. You have to hatch. You have to hatch what? The egg. What egg? You, that's how you get a Sniffer. Can't you just find them? No. Sure. You need a excavation tool and dig through sand with it to get an egg. Right, well, we're gonna go on our adventure in just a second. I'm just ditching a few things. Wait, how did... How is this still here? Do you not remember in that one video when you were building up the tree and you left it like that and then I burnt it down? We begin the journey looking for a cherry blossom. Now, we haven't been this way at all, I don't think, ever. Do you have a boat? No. Oh, that's a shame. I think that's a shame. I'm right next to you. Hey. What? Hey. Well, you didn't bring one. Onwards to... Oh, what's down there? Uh, what's not fall down there? Whoa! No, 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 crap, crap, crap. I didn't even think it would do that. I didn't think the current actually has an effect in this game. I didn't know the current actually sucked you in. Oh, there's two villages. There's one to the west and east. Two villages. One here, one just over there. I did find a few diamonds in the previous village. Yeah, these are just basic houses. I'm not even going to waste my time. Surprised there's two villages right next to each other. Yeah, I think this has a 0.1% chance of doing it happening. That's mine now, bitch. Oh, there is a blacksmith. Why? Oh, I got it. Oh, there's nothing good in it. Yeah, it made me mad. I might set his house on fire. No. Why not? Villages are necessities. To what? This is a random point of the map that we're never going to return to ever again. You don't want to destroy the beautiful nature. Why not? I don't think you're the type of player that I should be playing with. You're not destructive enough. What did you see? No, Wait, no, that is it, isn't it? So it looks like a normal grass biome, but with cherry trees. And I already know that there's nothing interesting here, except for the trees. Like, there's no mobs or anything. Or the only thing here is, like, seeds and shit to plant your own trees. So, it's a, I mean, I'm only here because Brooke wants to see it, really. I, I cared about the camels. The camels were the important thing for me in this update. This is, like, Brooke's version of that. So, let's go check out this new biome. And we are here. Okay, there's actually flowers on the ground, which makes it a bit nicer. Well, I've got a lot of pink petals. I suppose the wood is pretty cool. What do the uh, planks look like when you craft them? But that is it, though. That is, like, the whole... <laughs> that's the, That is the whole cherry blossom biome that was added um in the whole update that you know has been over a year so like can you plant these trees or what yeah okay so we're gonna at least get some trees out of this lovely sleep on top of the flowers that's a little wanky but... wanky pov left-handed people diseased people we've looted some flowers and we can leave you know what we need to find we need to find an ancient city Whoa, that's mad. Yeah, I, I was Ooh. just looking because I just... Almost died. How did you miss the whole fucking pool of water? Lewis. What? What did I say about burning stuff? It's not burning much, is it? Alright, come on. 
Just jump in water, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so even though the cherry blossom biome doesn't really have too much, still have not found an ancient city. So that is still something at least, you know, at least there's still something to actually look out for. In fact, I think the best way to find an ancient city would be to probably just dig all the way down to like as low as you possibly could and then digging in a straight line. Because that way you're at the lowest point and you're just going to keep going till you find one. I don't see how that is not the best strategy to find an ancient city. I'm probably going to do that. What? It's one of these things. What? Golden carrot? I'll take it. Flint, come up here. It's this way. Where? Blah. Right here. Where's right here? You, you turn around! Yeah. Home. Right, I'm going to put all the stuff in. Let's actually try and organize this. Brooks chest. Just take all the shit. Oh, I've got some of this other stuff as well. I've got six cherry saplings. I'm going to, just before I end off the video, I'm just going to go and look. I need a boat. I'm just going to go and see if any camels have spawned in the sand village nearby. Because uh, I would like to bring one back. I'm just going to see if a camel has spawned in the biome. If there is, I'll bring one back. If there isn't, that's it. Where should I plant, plant these cherry blossoms? I don't know. Don't clutter the house too much with random shit. I guess we are like bringing a bunch of random shit back to the house now. Like we got an axolotl thing because we found axolotls. Now we've got like a cherry blossom thing going on somewhere. Uh, we're going to bring back a camel. Like fuck knows where we're going to put the camel. It doesn't even make sense to have a camel in, that isn't in the desert. Yeah, so then we're, so we'll make a desert area. We'll make a cherry blossom area. We're just going to have every biome just cluttered together. So apparently camels only spawn in sand villages. And there is one here, but it's just already generated. I just don't see why they can't spawn in already generated villages. Like, I get biomes in already existing areas, because that's pretty much impossible, but adding camels into here would be easy. You know what I might do, actually? I might, uh, in the next video, try and raid one of them ancient water temples, because there's one nearby. And I never did that in my original series. I never did the water boss. I'd have to get potions, though, and I forgot how you make underwater potions. But I never killed that in my original series. That's two things I want to do, like, in the, in the near future of the series. Probably raid the water boss and also find an ancient city and do the warden thing. So let me know down below tips on how I can find... Or tips on both those things. I, I don't need to know where a water temple is. Because I've already went over one before. In, I think the last video actually. So I can just go back to that. But the ancient city thing. I don't really know. My idea is I'm just going to dig down. And then continue going. Until I find one. <laughs> They're so big that. I would just dig my way into one I guess. Look at the tree in the distance. That looks so stupid. Well maybe we're better off without a camel. Again it wouldn't really fit in. Well thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. God knows what this place is going to look like when I next get back on. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you all in my next video.